What's up guys, it's Dean with Dean and Dunn, and today we're going to be installing a barn door in this opening. Let's get into it. track up. Uh, first thing we did was put this one by up for a spacer because most barn doors do not have a cased in opening. It's just drywall, just pure opening where there was no door. So we put the one by up for a spacer to bring the bar out past the casing we have up here. That's so that the door will open without hitting the baseboard or the molding around the door. Now we're getting ready to mount our sliding hardware on the door. It goes like this. Then you put here your wheel, attach it right here. I'm pretty sure Wade holds the door down, but we'll find out. Turned out pretty good. Um, the only thing we're gonna do is uh, add some handles here so it'll be easier to open and close. Definitely an upgrade um, because there was no door here to this bedroom. Uh, this is the 120 year old house and I'm trying to get it rent ready for a client of mine and this is one more step to having this thing ready. Like I said in my last video on the 120 year old house when I did the deadbolt, nothing in this house is level or plumb. We did make the door plumb or level so that it would close and open properly and it won't uh, roll one way or the other. So we also put those stops up there. But it sits level, however, when you come back here, you can see it kind of goes down a little bit. Um, that's just something you deal with when you, when you have a 120 year old house. But uh, as far as the door functioning, 
it functions, it's open, you close it, it stays closed. Um, so we're going to get over that and uh, we're going to go with functionality. Client's happy, that's the most important thing um, in anything. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I do have more content on this house, getting it rent ready if you want to see it. Drop me a comment down below. But anyways, keep coming back for my content. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment below.